Whether you make a purchase or log into an app, the iPhone OTP autofill feature saves you time and effort. But if verification codes are not showing up on your iPhone keyboard and the autofill OTP just isn't working, look no further as we've got you covered. Now, I know Apple's default keyboard comes across as lackluster for those switching from Android, but switching to others can break the OTP autofill function. One quick fix is if you're using a third-party keyboard, switch to the default Apple keyboard when an OTP arrives and see if you can view the code right on your keyboard. Here's how to do it. Open a text field by tapping on it. When the keyboard pops up, hit the global icon in the bottom left corner of the screen. This will switch to the default iOS keyboard. Once you've entered the OTP, you can switch to a different keyboard by tapping on the same button. iOS allows you to fill in saved passwords in your iCloud keychain automatically. If this option is disabled, your verification codes will not be automatically entered when signing in. Here's how to fix it. Open the Settings app on your iPhone, navigate to the Passwords tab, and select Password Options. Turn on the toggle next to Autofill Passwords and Passkeys to enable the automatic fill-in SMS passcodes option on your iPhone. Notifications from the Messages app can also be customized to show text from certain categories. So if you're not seeing OTPs for transactions, here's how to fix that. Open the Settings app on your iPhone, navigate to the Notification section, and tap on Messages. Scroll to the bottom and tap on Customize Notifications. Then, enable the toggle for Transactions. The next fix involves disabling the focus mode on your iPhone. If you haven't whitelisted messages from any of your focus modes, you won't receive notifications from the app if a specific focus mode is on at the said time. To do that, open the Control Center by swiping down from the top of your iPhone. Finally, tap on the Focus Mode toggle to disable any active focus mode. By default, iOS doesn't allow third-party keyboards to access much of your data, including OTPs. So if you're using a third-party keyboard and don't want to switch to the Apple one, here's what you need to do. Open the Settings app on your iPhone and navigate to the General tab. Now tap on Keyboard. Tap on Keyboards at the top to see all the enabled input methods. Here, select the keyboard you use. Enable the toggle next to Allow Full Access. If it's already enabled, turn it off and back on after a few seconds. Hopefully these methods have helped you and you are now able to fix the OTP autofill function on your iPhone. If you like this guide, make sure to follow and subscribe to Guiding Tech for more tutorials related to your everyday technology and check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.